So I have literally been dreading doing this video with my son. So I just decided to do it without him. Hey there, Selena here, and in this video, I will be doing Zion's nice 18 month update. So he is technically 19 months, but I'm going to title this his 18 month update since I'm behind. Since he is not in this video, you can watch my two previous videos, which is a day in the life of a 17 month old and a traveling video. And then the next video after this will be a day in the life of a 19 month old. So if you guys want to see him, you can watch those two videos that are already posted and then the next one that will be coming out. And I want to thank you guys for having patience with me. So I wrote down everything that I was going to talk about in this video and then my list just disappeared somewhere. So I had to rewrite down anything. So if I forget anything or if there's anything you want to know, just let me know and I will answer that for you. Oh, you guys, look at my light. It's 9 o'clock at night. I've got lights now. I can film at any time of the day. How exciting. So let's get into this. My son's height the last time he was measured was 33 inches and his weight is 28 pounds. He is still maintaining his weight but he is getting taller. The clothes that he is wearing is 18 month, 24 month, and 2T. So he is starting to get too small for a lot of the 18 month clothing. He still fits into a few of them. So right now we really put him in 2T and 24 month. And then if anybody asks and they wanna buy him clothes, we tell them 3T. The shoes that he is wearing right now are seven and a half, which he still has like quite a bit of room to grow in those. If we get him some more shoes, then we will either get him seven and a half or seven. Eight is like way too big. Like it's so weird the jump between like seven and like eight. It's not, I mean, it's not that big obviously, but the size difference is pretty huge. Food, he is eating three meals a day right now and two snacks. I swear this kid is going through a ghost spurt and he's just like eating everything. But he doesn't always eat three meals. Sometimes like he won't eat lunch or he won't eat dinner, but every day he pretty much eats breakfast and um yeah two snacks a day it, it really depends but i do try to make sure he has his snacks but i have to be careful because sometimes if he eats snacks depending on when he eats his snacks he won't eat dinner so i have to be careful with that he is going through the dog food eating stage again which i'm hating he was going through it at one point and then we started hiding the dog food from him or like closing the door whenever we gave the dog food and he eventually stopped eating it and now he's going through it again and I swear this kid finds dog food everywhere like we could have the door closed and then he's eating dog food and it's like where did this come from it's so gross and like I just wish he would stop so we are again like whenever we give the dog food I just close the door so that she can eat in peace and I don't have to worry about him getting her food Nursing, he is still nursing four times a day, two times during the day, and twice at night. Though when he te te when he is teething or when he is sick, I will nurse him more um, because he cries more or, and because he um, is in pain or whatever. So I will nurse him more if he's sick or if he's um, teething. Though I have thought about weaning him at night because um, it would be like so much easier on me. And now would be like the perfect time to do it because my mom is leaving soon and she'll be gone for a while and my brother works during the day now so he sleeps at night I guess that's the only bad part but um with my mom gone like if he's screaming and crying during the night I don't have to worry about waking her up I guess I gotta worry about waking my brother up but mm, it is what it is but I'm not gonna be weaning him I just I don't know, I just decided not to. So yeah, he still nurses twice at night. He wakes up at about 12, which is when I go to bed. Um, and I like it because I'm going to be starting a new business soon and it'll keep me going to bed. I don't drink coffee or tea, so I need to make sure that I'm going to bed and not staying up too late. So him waking up at 12 and not going back to sleep unless I'm beside him is actually something that I'm going to use to my advantage because I wanna make sure that I'm not sleeping during the day and taking time away from him. So um, he wakes up at 12 to nurse and then he wakes up around like four o'clock or something like that to nurse. 
Sometimes he will stay awake and not go back to sleep and on those days either he will go and see my mom before she leaves to go to PT or I will just give him the tablet and go back to sleep until he's ready to go to sleep. Though some nights I have to have him fall asleep on his own and he will cry. But that's because no matter what I do he won't go to sleep. That's like the only option. I am trying to get him to sleep in his own bed more again because it seemed like for a while he was sleeping better in my bed and he was waking up so much if I had him in his crib so I just had him sleep in my bed because it made things easier now that he's sleeping good again I'm trying to get him to sleep in his bed more so naps are in his bed and right now he's sleeping in my bed all night so he's in my bed right now but eventually I will start doing again the first part of the night he's in his own bed the rest of the night he's in my bed um, and we'll see how that goes outside you guys here in Washington it is starting to get nice and I'm so excited for it so we are going outside every single day that we can we go outside in the morning and then after his nap we go outside again we may go for a walk I try to use his little tricycle the one that we can push and he I don't think he really likes it he will get off of it and try to push it himself or like all this other mess and I just I don't even want to deal with it so if I walk him I push him in a stroller because he will sit in the stroller the whole time he is saying more words you guys and he's really catching on to stuff I just started saying thank you and you're welcome to him a while ago not a while ago probably a few weeks ago and before he was just saying welcome to everything like you're welcome you're welcome and he wouldn't say thank you but now he's starting to say thank you and that is exciting he's like really starting to learn fast and to catch up on things and he's like just saying even more words now and I'm trying to do more signs with him because he's like if he noticed that one sign will get a quicker response than another then he will do that sign instead of doing the other sign so now instead of asking for food he will ask for water because water gets a faster response and the reason this is because if he asks for food I have to figure out what to give him but if he asks for water I mean it's water right so maybe I should teach him food signs that way if he wants specific food I can give it to him problem solved so yeah we're I'm definitely gonna be working on that I just realized that in this video so huh, epiphany copying he is literally copying oh you guys with the you're welcome thing like you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram it's at romantic Libra I will put a link down in the description for you guys to go and check that out he loves the song that Maui sings you're welcome from Moana and so he'll say welcome and then he says gum gum yeah he says gum gum for you're welcome it's so cute you guys go check it out copying he's copying everything and again on my Instagram I have a picture where my mom got up off of her bed and he climbed into her spot pulled the blanket over him and like he is on the laptop like he looks so focused it is such the cutest thing but he's really copying and mimicking the stuff that we we we're doing better and he's like really getting better at these skills and things like that which is exciting to see and because of this I'm going to start working with him on different things and I want to give him a bit more structure which is why I'm hoping to soon get him into gymnastics and swimming though swimming may happen a little bit faster um so like the first thing that I guess my one goal that I really want to do is in the morning doing like a blanket time where I give him several activities and he has to stay on the blanket for maybe about 30 minutes and do these activities. One, it gets him to sit down for um, a while and then two, if I can get him to do it by himself, that's more time for me to get stuff done. But I don't plan on like, you know, putting him down on the blanket for 30 minutes and saying, sit there. Um, I plan on building up to it, so like maybe 3 minutes, 5, 10, 15, stuff like that. And working on him first with the different activities so he knows how to do it. So right now we're doing sorting where I get his red bowl and his yellow bowl. Though I don't know if those colors are okay to use because they are kind of similar, but at the same time not really. Um, and we have colored blocks, red and yellow blocks, and I'm trying to get him to sort them into the right bowls. And some kids get it on the first try, but my son is definitely not one of those kids. So um, I don't know if it's because he's distracted or something like that. So it is definitely something that we will continue to work with until he gets it. And I will also start introducing other activities. But yeah, I definitely want him to have a bit more structure. I already kind of talked about his sleeping. Um, oh, he is taking two hour naps though, for the most part. 
so that is exciting. Teething, he's teething right now. He is getting his canine teeth. His two top canine teeth have finally broken through and they're slowly coming up. The two bottom ones have yet to break through, but you can see them, they're getting ready to. And I cannot wait until he's done teething. And traveling, so like I said, one of my previous videos was us traveling. We traveled to Georgia and he did so so well there was one time where he was a bit uncomfortable and i'm thinking was one because she had hard floor and he really doesn't like walking on the floors barefoot and stuff like that and then two because he wasn't really able to nap like he usually does because the room that we were using was her son's room and so her son would be in there playing games and stuff like that while he was asleep so he couldn't really nap like he would usually do so he was super fussy but anywhere that he could get like his regular naps he was like really good and really comfortable he did really good on the plane we did have a few issues especially with the fact like whenever he was supposed to be sitting in my lap like when the seatbelt sign was on and he did not want to sit in my lap because like we had turbulence and stuff like that that part was hard um the little travel kit that I showed that we made, out of that, the thing that he liked the most was the tape. He really loved the tape. I was so happy that he liked the stuff that I put in there. He doesn't really care for coloring, like he is starting to color more, but he really doesn't like it. Um, he right now is interested in coloring on everything but paper, and if I catch him getting ready to color on something, I will tell him don't color that. To color on paper, you're only allowed to color on paper, and then he'll go, paper? And then he'll go find a piece of paper. He knows the paper is. And he knows he's not supposed to color on the walls. We've got, you can't see it, but actually right here by this clock, there's a pencil on the wall. There's marker on another wall. He's got stuff on the wall that we need to clean off. So um, that's something I'm working on him with. Uh, I'm probably going to see if I can get him to help me clean it up, though, definitely. But yeah, he, he did really well. Of course, there was lots of fussing, but he did pretty good. We um, had lots of activities and things for him to do. Um, he enjoyed watching his movies and he did really good when it came to playing with his cousins because he met a few of his cousins that are around his, the same age and he did pretty good playing with them. Um, the issues again came when he was tired but I mean that's to be expected. Uh, I just I guess the main thing I hate about traveling is like judgmental which I don't think most people are they understand that kids cry or get cranky when they're tired but it's always like nerve-wracking when you're in somebody else's home your kid is tired and it's just like I don't know what to do like it's just not the same if that makes sense but if there's if you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask oh we are not potty training yet we are not starting potty training i'm not really pushing it he does have a potty seat if we take no he will go and take the potty seat out and occasionally but not really we will sit him on the potty but it's not really anything serious it should just he sees us on the potty so he wants to sit on it too he hates disposable diapers i know that much so he will take disposable diapers off he doesn't like them he and I think he even sleeps worse if I have a disposable diaper on him versus the cloth diapers. I don't know why, he just doesn't like them. And I mean, that's fine with me. But yeah, we are not potty training. I'm not pushing it. I don't know when I'm going to start. It will be sometime probably when he's two. If not after he's two, I'm hoping that I do not have to put him in daycare so that I don't have to worry about potty training because daycare is like a whole nother ball game. And I'm just not ready to do that. I don't want to push it. Uh, I don't really think he's ready just yet for potty training. Um, I'd prefer to do like the three day method, which you generally have to do when they're older. We will see what happens. Um, my, my, his next update will probably be when he is about two years old, but there will be videos in between there. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching a new video every week and you can subscribe to my channel right here and check out another video right here. And until next time, deuces.